Hi guys, welcome to an introduction to Ableton Live. Now at the moment I'm using Ableton Live 9. You could be using Live 10 or Live 8, but it doesn't really matter for the sake of this tutorial. So at the moment we're in session view. Now we don't want this at the moment, so we're gonna go to arrangement view and you get there by clicking up here in the top right hand corner. So this is your arrangement view. Now, as you can see, we have two MIDI tracks and also two audio tracks. So we only want one uh, MIDI track at the moment, so we'll delete the rest. So just select there and then shift click, select down here and then delete. So as you can see, we're left with one MIDI track. Now, what we're gonna be looking at is the Ableton operator synth. So this is a stock synth which comes with Ableton and it's really useful for quite a lot of things. You can make pad synths with it, you can make future bass synths, um, all sorts of things. So we'll, to get there, just go to instruments and then click on operator. So as you can see, the operator is now loaded up into our MIDI track. Now the way this works is it has four oscillators. So one, two, three, four. And it has a volume control, a fine tuning control, and a coarse tuning control, which is basically your octaves. Um, and they can put out different types of waveforms. So at the moment, it's stock sound is a sine wave. So that just sounds like this. Now you can change that to all sorts of things like different types of sine waves, different types of saw waves, squares, triangles, and noise generators. And you can even make your own waveforms with this user setting, but we won't look at that today. So the other thing to note with Ableton's operator is it's an FM synthesizer. So if we turn these up just for demonstration, these are all routed to each other. So they're basically stacked. Um, so if we go over here, we'll see, you'll see what I mean. So at the moment, it sounds like this. Now if we change the routing options, it will change the sound. So this last option here is basically no routing. So all four of these are basically running individually. So what we're gonna to make today is a super saw. So it's a pretty useful instrument to have. So how we'll do that is we'll just go back and open up a fresh operator. So double click that again, and that'll reset that into our MIDI track. Now we will turn this down because it gets pretty loud. So this here is your volume control for this track, and I usually put it down to about minus 12. So to start off, we'll go down here to our first oscillator and then we'll change this waveform to a saw wave. So I usually go saw D. Now it sounds like this. So now what we wanna do is we wanna copy that to all of the other oscillators. So just right click and say copy from oscillator A. So now it sounds like this. Kinda sounds like a future bass lead or something like that. Um, but what we want to do is we want to just play with the tuning a little bit here and up here on this one as well and on this one we want to put our octave down and the same with this one as well so now it sounds like this probably sounds even more future bassy at the moment so now what we want to do is go to our routing options and for a super saw, generally we don't have any routing on it. So they're all individual. So we'll click this last one. Now it sounds like this. That sound, that's starting to sound like a super saw, isn't it? So if we go to our spread, this is almost like a chorus effect within the operator. And now I'll just have a listen to it. We'll put it up here. Sounds a bit more chorusy. Um, the other thing that can be useful with super saws is your filter. So this filter has a low pass, a high pass, a band pass, and a notch filter. And they can all be controlled by this frequency and also your resonance. So for this one, just for demonstration, this is what it sounds with a low pass set to a pretty low frequency with only 183 hertz. And then you can slowly rise up. So that sounds pretty cool, hey? So that's basically 
the basics of Ableton's operator. It's got a couple of other functions like a pitch envelope and also your yeah, LFO, but we d won't look at those today. We might put that in another video. But thank you very much for watching this video on an introduction to Ableton Live. Um, if you guys enjoyed, it would mean a lot if you could just like the video, maybe subscribe if you can, and check out my Instagram at Music. Thanks guys, bye.